I did promise you another speech, and I don't like to disappoint. So, <laughs> so here we go. Um, first of all, I hope that um, Shami's interventions earlier about the, uh, the gender of the questioners um, prompted some of you to say, well, how were there, why weren't there any women interviewees in that film then? See? See, we've made you sensitive. <laughs> we've created nuances and alertness where there maybe wasn't before. But um, just to mention that 60% of our students are female, therefore 40% male. Um, the vice chancellor is a woman. The chancellor is a woman. Quite often the student union president is a woman. Until a year ago, the chair of governors was a woman. We're doing really well. <laughs> so um, there are only 16 women vice chancellors out of 134 institutions bearing the, the title of um, university. This is an outrage, right to your MP. So, anyway, thank you again for coming, for being with us on this very, very special day. We're delighted to welcome you to, to, to Brooks to, to celebrate the opening of the, the Abercrombie Extension, the first phase of our major development of the Headington um, campus. And it's a delight to see so many good friends of the university here tonight. Um, we, uh, we relish these occasions. And as June will have indicated earlier, this is um, the first party among many parties that we will be throwing to celebrate um, our anniversary and other occasions. Um, I've already mentioned that we started off as a school of art, and so it's perhaps fitting that the, the first part of the, of the redevelopment is, as Paul Inman said earlier, um, hosting creative disciplines. Um, I won't say that the School of Art is here, um, because Alison Honor, the head of art, art's heart, would start to leap, thinking, yes, are we here? Could we be here? But um, she's across the road in very nice accommodation, but in this building are the students of the built environment, and it has been, I think, really exciting for them to, to be the first occupants of this space, and indeed to watch the, the growth of the, of the John Henry Brooks building. Um, I don't think there could be a clearer signal of our commitment to our students than the kind of investment that we're making in our infrastructure. Um, the kind of investment we're making in, in physical buildings, in our, uh, in our IT, in our student services. Uh, we are mindful of the fact that without our students, uh, we, are, we, we don't exist. And our students, as I always say in graduation speeches, it is through our students and by our students that, that we are known. And it never ceases to amaze me that everywhere I go in the world, I have a Brooks story. And um, John Guy, a member of my governing body who travels the world for the Cambridge Exam Syndicate, always comes back from his foreign travels with a story or two about, never mind Cambridge, you're a governor at Oxford Brooks. I did, my sister, my, it's always a Brooks connection. And um, we were giving an honorary degree to um, a very eminent member of the, um, of the surveying profession uh, last, last week. And um, he was pointing out to me the number of surveyor parents in the audience who were watching their children graduate. And I mentioned to him that I was at a dinner in London and uh, Lord Hunt, the chair of the Press Complaints Commission, sat down next to me and he said, Oxford Brooks, a magnificent institution, the only one of my children earning a decent living, <laughs> surveying, <laughs> surveying Oxford Brooks. So, thank you, thank you. So, um, all those children earning a decent living, courtesy of, of Brooks. Um, but in addition to talking about our students, it's, um, it's a huge joy for my colleagues and I to have Shami Chakrabarti as our chancellor. She covers us in glory simply by her association with the university. And I think, you know, sometimes it's easy to forget the privilege that she, um, that she gives us by being a part of Oxford Brooks and by giving us her time, particularly at this moment when her time is very much in demand. And many of you will have heard her on the radio and seen her on television over the course of the last weekend. And so she never lets us down. She always comes um, to support us. And um, I think you will agree with me that she is one of the most influential campaigners in modern Britain. And I think in the top 10 of people who should be running Britain, <laughs> according to a survey. Um, so that's, that's food for thought, and I'll vote for that. Um, and our students love to have Shami here. 
um, I really enjoy it when we're just wandering around the place and a student will, will rush up to her and say, can, can I shake your hand? She's like, yeah, of course you can. So, and it's just you know, a, a pleasure for them to feel, again, her association with us. And so it's, it's wonderful to us that she is going to be the one whose name is on the plaque for the opening of the Abercrombie building. And with that, I will hand over to her. Thank you. Thank you. We can give her a round of applause. It's allowed. You don't have to save it all for me or anything like that. You know, she, she is, of course, the visionary vice chancellor who does all the work and, and makes it all happen. And the, and, and the pleasure and the privilege is all my. You're a very brave woman, Janet, because, of course, you know, you, you say all these nice things about me and you, you, you let me come and um, I'm supposedly the most dangerous woman in Britain. Um, <laughs> but okay, no, don't be afraid. Be, don't be afraid. Isn't this an absolutely wonderful space? Seriously. Um, I think that the built environment can work obviously for or against people. It can lift or completely break the human spirit, can it not? Um, and I think you know, as a lay person, that this is just absolutely exquisite. And I, I feel that it is almost the beginnings, because this is just the taster, by the way. This is just 20% of what we're going to have here. I think this is the beginnings of a great modern cathedral to learning. The bishop will forgive me saying that, but um, um, no disrespect. Into, I think this is going to be a great modern cathedral to learning. And it is exactly what our students deserve. The students we have now and generations of students that will come here and be inspired and be able to work in this wonderful, light and glorious space. And of course, all these open spaces lend themselves to collaboration and conversation, including, as we've heard earlier, of a multidisciplinary kind. Um, I, I think this is going to, to, to really re-energise again and again our great university for, for, for many, many years to come. Now, I've got all these facts, and I'm not going to give you all the facts because you've had loads of them, um, loads of them earlier this afternoon, and you need to, you need to move on with the, with, the, with, the, with the festivities this evening. But can I just point out that this will be such a good student space that, uh, just to remind you, that we'll have the student union in this, in, in this, in, in this complex, we'll have student advice and career services, um, we will have, um, I in addition to the teaching spaces, and, and we've heard that this will be um, architecture planning, real estate, construction, all of those disciplines will be here. Can I also point out the glass tank? Um, over there, which is not a place where people will be examined by the security services. Um, this, it, it, it's an exhibition space. At the moment, it holds just part of the, of the Booker archive, which, um, which um, Oxford Brooks holds, which is obviously a, a, a wonderful archive to hold. And you can, you can have a look at all of that in, in a bit. Now, you can't see the roof properly. Um, it's not visible today, but I've been told that it, it incorporates a green sedum roof. I don't know what sedum means. Someone can, you know, tell me what sedum roof is. But three banks of solar panels. That's, I think that's important, given the ethics of this place. Three banks of solar panels that help generate free electricity for the building. And that's really innovative and visionary, I think, for the future. And then, finally, I cannot resist this one. You see, I choose which facts to... This is what you do, isn't it? You get something like this and you choose which <coughs> facts are incredibly important to you and which are important to you and which are less important to you. This is one that I really, really like. These beautiful glass bridges that you see, these, these coloured glass bridges, I am told in this note, whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to say this, OK? I am told that the glass in those bridges is equivalent to the glass that you'd need for 15,000 bottles of wine. <laughs> now, some of you are going, what a waste. <laughs> but, but, but no, it's not. It, it just gives you some idea of, of how, much has gone, how much has gone into this. And just so that you don't feel that it's a shame and that you realise there is plenty of wine left in the world, notwithstanding the, the use of glass on this beautiful space. It is now my final and very happy t task to ask all of you to raise your glasses to this wonderful space, 
to our wonderful students, our wider community, ladies and gentlemen, to Brooks. So thank you very much, Shami, that, as ever, um, for um, honouring us in, in this way. Um, so stay, have another drink, um, have some food and feel free to explore the building and now there are lots of people around to help you. Anna, come and flash your badge. <laughs> See that? Anyone with one of those, feel free to ask them to, um, to, to show you the wonders of the building, here to help. Um, and um, I hope, well I'm pretty confident that, um, that today will have given you some sense of our excitement about the building and indeed the building to come with its sedum roof, which I'm sure there are lots of people in the room actually who can explain to you what a sedum roof is, I'm looking at several of them. But um, yeah, and once it's completed, come and visit and visit again, we'll, we'll have lots of opportunities I'm sure to, to welcome you to the, the campus. Um, and um, all that's left to say is thank you once again. And uh, can someone please pass me a drink? Thank <laughs> you.